Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I am journaling in my Bible with the April Faith Art Box from Creative Retreat Kits. Uh, here is the kit here if you want to see an unboxing of the kit and everything that's included. You can check out my unboxing video on my channel. Uh, but I've also pulled out some items from previous kits. So I have been with Creative Retreat Kits for a year now and so I have lots of goodies in my stash that I need to use up. So I pulled some out that go with the kit this month and we are going to bust through my stash. So be ready. <laughs> um, I'm going to be working in Matthew chapter 8 verses 23 through 28 today. And and to begin with, I am uh, laying down a base of white acrylic paint in the corner of this page. I'm going to be using Distress Oxide inks for my background, and I know that they are going to bleed through. So I thought I'd deal with some of that ahead of time by adding the white paint. You will see that this didn't work. <laughs> so if you're going to recreate my page, be sure to prep your page with gesso. Um, this acrylic paint just was not enough to protect my page and I'll show you what the bleed through looks like um, in a little bit here, but this, this didn't work. So learn from my mistakes, but I'm going to be doing some ink smushing with uh, faded jeans, distress oxide ink. So I have some plastic packaging there and I'm just going to mist that with my water and that's what gets that ink moving around and then I can stamp it down. I'm trying to kind of stay where that white paint is. And in the end, that didn't really matter. <laughs> but um, I started out by ink smushing, but I just don't quite have as much control as I wanted because I am only wanting to keep it kind of in that corner there. So in a minute here, I will change up how I do this. But you can see I'm picking up any puddles of paint. Because it's on that acrylic paint, it's just sitting on top of the acrylic. And so it's making tons of puddles. And so now I'm gonna switch it up. I'm just gonna use that plastic as a palette take a wet paintbrush and then just dab the color on. So I'll still have that texture. Um, I'm wanting to look like a splash of water back there, but I have a lot more control with the paintbrush. So, and then I'll just keep mushing it. Since I'm working on that paint, you can see it really just kind of puddles up and doesn't move quite the same as it does on just a blank Bible page. I'm gonna dry that really, really good. Pick up any extra bits of water here. And then when I flip it over, you'll be able to see, yep, the acrylic paint didn't work. <laughs> so learn from my mistakes. But uh, now I can go ahead and start building things on top of there. And I've had this idea for these rain boots that I wanted to heat emboss them to give them kind of that shiny uh, rubber look. So I am going to uh, dirty up my stamp with an eraser. So a lot of times you see me rub it on my arm. You can do it with an eraser if that grosses you out. <laughs> so you do want to make sure that the, the stamp is matte or rubbed off before you stamp with Distress Inks. That gives you a better impression. I'm stamping with uh, Squeeze Lemonade. This is one of the new colors. And since it has a, it's a pigment and dye ink mix, so it dries slower than a dye ink. And so I have time to sprinkle some clear embossing powder on there. So the clear embossing powder is going to give it that shiny texture that I'm looking for. And it also just kind of intensifies that yellow color. I can dump back the extra. My clear embossing powder is filthy. I don't know what happened. I don't know what got in it, but I need to get some new one because it has a little weird flex in there. I think it's pencil shavings. I don't know, like pencil eraser shavings. Anyways, I am heating up my embossing powder and melting it. And you'll be able to see that it goes back to being clear. And it wasn't quite thick enough. So I'm going to heat that up. And while it's still hot and kind of tacky, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle more of the embossing powder over the top of this. And that way I get a double coating of the embossing powder. And that just gives it a more raised and smooth, glossy finish. Of course, this is all extra. It's just kind of adding to the look of those uh, rain boots there. So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp out some of the flowers that come in the kit. I first started stamping with seedless preserves, but this purple is not quite the right purple. So I switch here in a minute to wilted violet, um, which isn't perfect, but it's a little better than the seedless preserves. And you'll see when I get it wet, um, the color kind of changes a little bit too. So I'm just trying to check and see if that's going to work for me. We're going to go with it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take a damp paintbrush 
And since Distress Oxide inks are water reactive inks, I can just kind of touch the edge of the color with the damp paintbrush and pull the color out into the center of the flower. It doesn't take very much water at all. You don't want to use a lot of water or this will just bleed into a mushy mess. So I'm just taking a damp paintbrush to activate that ink and kind of fill in the flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them and then fussy cut them out and have them ready to go. So again, I am working in Matthew chapter eight, verses 23 through 28, and this is Jesus calms a storm. These verses say, and when he got into the boat, his disciples followed him and behold, there arose a great storm on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by the waves, but he was asleep. And they went and woke him saying, save us Lord, we are perishing. And he said to them, why are you afraid? O you of little faith. Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this that even winds and sea obey him? So I love the theme of this kit. It's just so perfect for spring, and um, we were getting a lot of rain. I live in California. We're kind of done with our rain, but um, it goes great with that. And just um, the theme of the kit with, uh, you know, pouring his love down. Here I ended up um, talking about how he washes away my fear. Um, so there are a lot of different ways that you can use the kit this month. Um, on screen there, I went ahead and just outlined the boots just to give them some more contrast. I used a gray marker to add some ground for them to sit on. And then I'm gonna make it look like there's little flowers poking out of the rain boots. So I have some of the enamel dots from Creative Retreat Kits and I'm gonna use those to kind of accent and create flowers with those also. I'm trying to decide what colors I want to use. I struggled with colors on this entry. I don't know what what was going on but just drawing some little stems there and then I am going to pop some of these flowers up on some dimensional foam tape just to add some interest I've been having a lot of fun playing with dimension in my bible right now and so you're going to be seeing a lot of this sorry <laughs> if you don't like chunkiness in your bible you can just use regular adhesive to adhere things down but so I'm going to pop up the bigger ones and then adhere that smaller one and so it kind of looks like it's 3d there on my page and so fun. I can't wait to see what you guys do with these rain boots. I'm already seeing photos from the creative ret uh, retreat team and they are just being so creative and having so much fun with this rain boot stamp. It's so cute. So here I have some eyelash tweezers and um, you can actually get those to apply false eyelashes, which I don't do, but they come with the best tweezers for crafting. So I keep these tweezers in my craft room and they're great for picking up um, enamel shapes or you know grabbing the backer off of tape or just little teeny tiny things I need to do because they have such a fine tip to them. And um, they're great in my craft room. So that's what that is. And I'm just drawing in some more leaves and stems get to see the back of my head as I'm making sure I've got it how I want it to look there. So here are some of the stickers from June of last year but that blue goes perfect with this kit and so I'm going to spell out wash away my fear um, and then I just wrote a little prayer um, for my journaling. It says, Lord, I pray that I will always remember that you are the God who is able to calm the storms. I know that more storms are in my future so please wash away my fear. And um, God is able to calm your storms. Sometimes he doesn't do that in ways that we would like or think that he should or in the timing that we think he should or we want him to, but he is able to do that. And um, we, we should have faith in that, that he is in control of all those things. So I did go ahead and just leave myself plenty of room to journal um, a prayer, which is kind of what... I had intended and that's why I kept all of the artwork kind of down in the bottom portion of this entry today so I'm stamping with versifying onyx black ink that ink does bleed through but obviously I don't have to worry about bleed through because I already got it so <laughs> might as well just use all the things that bleed uh, this is a bow clip from one of the previous kits last year that I still had in my stash and then I'm just going to take some of the word fetty stickers and just create a little grouping up here just to bring some more color towards the top. I am going to pop up that heart on some foam adhesive also um, and that's just going to kind of lock down that tab also and kind of cover up the uh, paper clip a little bit so I can just cut those in half stick it on the back of the sticker and then I do brush my EK success powder tool over this that way any of the stickiness from the sticker that's exposed will be covered and only the uh, 
foam tape will have adhesive. That way nothing gunky gets stuck to it as it's living in my Bible. <laughs> And go ahead and stick that down and that's pretty much it for the entry so I'm gonna do my little prayer journaling and that is it be sure to head on over to the uh, creative retreat kit blog to hear more about the verse and check out and see how everyone else is working through this kit um, I can't wait to see everybody's takeaway and how they use elements from this kit we have a few new ladies on the team um, so I'm super excited to see what they create so definitely head on over to the blog and check that out head on over to the shop to pick up this kit for yourself if you haven't already and some of the kits that I mentioned with those stickers are still available in the shop so you can check those out also um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video leave any questions or comments down below and subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed and until next time thank you so much bye bye